Bobsled tends to find you. It's a late entry sport. Nobody grows up in Canada wanting to be a bobsledder. We want to play hockey, football. I mean, it's a bit of an unknown for a lot of parents. Your kid all of a sudden wants to hurl himself down an icy chute at 150K. You know, they encourage me to, to do what makes me happy. And they just asked that if I was going to do it, that I give it 100%. And so that's what I've done. <laughs> I'm the pilot. I came from track and field. I ran the 100 meter and the 60 meter. I'm sort of the leader of the team and I establish the goals and stuff like that and make sure everybody's bought in and on board. The guy who sits second in the sled and pushes on the left, Jesse Lumsden. He came from football. He went to the CFL. And he has like every college record there is. I'm the old guy on the team now try to look at things differently, try to bring some of that veteran leadership. When I was reaching the end of my football career, I had faced a lot of injuries and my body was getting uh, beat up. Bobsleigh came at a time in my life where I was really questioning whether I was gonna give up sport or not, and Bobsleigh gave me the opportunity to continue to compete at a high level. Coming into this off season after two years off, I knew almost instantly that I still have a few bullets left in the chamber. Having Jesse back is awesome. Physically, he brings a ton to the team. He's also a great team leader. We have some history together too. He teamed up with me for one quick America's Cup race uh, where you know I still didn't really know what I was doing. But we actually broke the start record on the track, which was uh, at the time an 11 year old record from the Jamaican bobsleigh team. So we know that when we come together and, and race in the two men, really special things can happen. I'm really looking forward to getting back on the ice with Jesse. Yeah.